There can be a lot of information extracted from a raster or a vector by accessing its statistics. There are various tools available to you to do this. For example, if you would like to calculate raster statistics, you can simply search for the statistics word in your toolbox or because I have used this tool previously, I simply type in raster and my recently used tools come up. You have the raster layer unique values report and the raster layer statistics tool. There are slight differences between these. One simply returns the number of pixels a particular value in a raster has, so the count and its associated area. And the other one provides a lot more statistics in terms of the mean values, the range of values, the maximum, the minimum, minimum and so forth. The raster layer unique values report simply returns what I mentioned first, the count of a pixel, how many times it occurs within the raster, and the area of that associated count of pixels. Here I will run this report on my elevation raster, so my digital elevation model. Once the tool has run, it will create an HTML file that you can view. You simply click on the file in the results window and you will see the output of that particular tool. As you can see here, for example, I have a negative 27 meters, so 27 meters below sea level. It occurs only once within my raster and the area of that in square meters is roughly 723. Then you have an additional tool or additional functionality which provides a lot more statistics. This particular tool is the raster layer statistics. It computes basic statistics for your particular raster and you can also do this by band. Now again I will use the elevation raster. It only has one band. So accept the defaults and run it. And once the tool has run successfully you will see an output in your screen. For example, here the maximum is 1,700 meters. The minimum again is minus 27, so 27 meters below sea level. The average is roughly 276 meters for the whole raster and other statistics are given as well. You can of course again access the HTML file where these values are given to you again. What is worth noting here that these statistics were already available to you by accessing the properties of your raster layer. So double clicking the elevation layer or saying right click properties and going to the information tab, you will see statistics already calculated for that particular raster already stored within the raster under the information tab.